What's going on, everybody? It's Richard Coburn here, the Blue Collar Nerd, and have I got excellent news for you. Service Titan now has an official Zapier integration. Now, I've talked about Zapier a lot in the past, so if you've been following me for a while and you already know what Zapier is, you can just move right along. I've got tutorials on how to get started with it. But if you don't know what Zapier is, then this is the video for you. So Zapier is an automation platform. Basically, it has a catalog of softwares, and whatever softwares are within the Zapier catalog, you can make them talk to each other. So you can say, hey, when this happens in application A, I want to trigger this event in application B. And that's just at the most basic level. You can have an unlimited number of steps. Just some examples of programs in the Zapier catalog. There are thousands, but things like Gmail, Slack, Google Sheets, Google Docs, Facebook Groups, Facebook Pages, Facebook Ads, plus a ton more. And now, Service Titan. Now the possibilities of what can be done with Zapier are literally endless. Just spouting off some random ideas. Maybe when we receive a specific type of email or email attachment in Gmail, we want to upload that to a job in Service Titan. Maybe when a technician leaves a job in Service Titan without spending at least, I don't know, half an hour there, we want to send an alert over to Slack to let us know that. Or we don't even have to use two different applications. We can just loop around to the same application. So maybe when a tag gets applied to a job in Service Titan, we want to automatically create a task in Service Titan. Boom, right back in there. Zapier gives you tons of power to do your own automations and fill gaps. Now let me really drive this explanation home with the power of metaphor. Here we have Service Titan, pretty solid product. And Service Titan on its own by default already does a lot of automation. But as you get more and more advanced with the product and as you start to automate more and more workflows, every single business is a little bit different. And so inevitably you're gonna poke some holes in it. I wish I could get an alert every time somebody closes a job in the service business unit with a ticket greater than $5,000. I wish whenever a job got scheduled in these specific zip codes, I could generate a task automatically to let us know to get a permit. I wish, I wish, I wish. Now before, all you could really do was ask Service Titan for these things and hope that they took care of it for you at some point. But now, you got a big old bucket of Zapier, baby and you can use Zapier to fill these holes yourself. Ta-da! To wrap it all up, a Zapier integration is like getting hundreds of integrations all at once. Now, I do just wanna clarify a couple of things. One is that making automations through Zapier is an advanced technique. It's a way for advanced users to get even more configurability out of the software than is already built in. But if you're not an advanced user or you don't consider yourself particularly computer savvy, that's okay, you don't have to mess with this at all because, and this brings me to my second point, the Zapier integration has no effect on the resources that Service Titan is putting into making the core product better. Service Titan is gonna continue to improve and get even more robust over time like it always has. But guys, I gotta say, I'm really excited about this. Quick story, he probably doesn't remember this, but I actually asked Vahe directly for Zapier integration probably three years ago at Service World Expo. I remember this very clearly. He did a, a presentation. They set him up like a little, like a little plexiglass cube inside of the main, um, what do you call it? The expo hall where all the vendors are. They had like this little cube set up with, with chairs and he gave this presentation. He was talking about all these cool new Service Titan features that were coming out, all these things they were working on. And I remember everybody in the audience is, is just sitting back, just watching, just nodding, not really making any noise. And then, <laughs> And then at the end, there was a Q&A session. And I remember he, he called on this woman and her question was, how is all this going to affect our pricing? And Vahe had a, a very elegant answer, something along the lines of, you know, we at Service Titan believe that the core product should keep improving over time. And so none of the uh, improvements that I showed you today are going to affect your pricing at all. And that was the one time suddenly everybody in the audience was just like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, woo, woo. And I'll never forget the look in Vahe's eyes as he said, of course, that's the one thing that gets applause. <laughs> Poor guy. 
Anyways, that's all I got for today. Hey, if you're interested in this, keep watching the videos in this playlist. The next video is about how to get started, the requirements, how to get into the open beta, picking out a Zapier plan, all that good stuff. And then I've also got a couple of tutorials for you, a couple of example zaps, and I do plan to keep on filming more tutorials. So if you've got a particular zap you'd like to see me build, let me know in the comments down below, and I am open to suggestions. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Appreciate it. Peace.